All right, so today's Saturday. It's almost 11.30. I'm supposed to be somewhere in, that's 34 miles away <laughs> at 12. And according to Google, it says I'm not gonna get there till 12.08. Uh, the place I'm going to, hopefully I'll be able to record just a snippet or a glimpse of what I'm doing. So I'm on my way to this business mixer. I think that's what it's called. It's called a business mixer. So I'm heading there now and hopefully it turns out well. I'm not quite sure. I've never done something like this before. Everything is a learning process. So this is new for me and I'm hoping that it goes well. I rushed my makeup, but I still need to do my lips. So I'll be doing my lips in the car. All right. I'll see you guys soon. Uh, and I always tell my, my family, there's always a way out of every situation. Yes, yeah, I don't yeah. care how bad it is. That's my motivation. Yeah. So I don't know what situation you're in today. We just wanted to bring um, everyone together, get to know each other. What does everybody do? You know, rub minds. You know, there, there's a saying that you're maybe four people away from your, from your destiny. You know, God places people in our lives and we never know. You know, you just look at some people and say, oh, I really don't like her. I don't want to talk to her. You don't know whether that person has something, you know, that she can offer you, no matter how small. So that, that's just really the goal for us to be able to rob minds, get to know one another, know that we have a church full of resources, human resources. The next person to you is a resource to you. You know, um, Chia was just talking about internship, and I'm thinking in my mind, okay, my I already just graduated, maybe if I get a job with this, you know, little things like that. And it gets you thinking, it gets your juices flowing, you have ideas. Anything is doable. You if you want to start a business, it's doable. So the skill the non skill aspect about it is uh getting people to come to your house to clean, to cook and and do all that. You can have a, you can register with a the state yeah people, you know, with IDPH. Yeah, you register with IDPH, you register your business name, register with IDPH, they come for survey. Um, I'll put myself out there. If you want to do it, I can help. I don't charge anything because somebody helped me out as well. So the only thing I can say, if I help you, you have to help somebody else. You have to pay for it. Engagement will build relationship. When you are ready to maybe launch that business or launch that product that you're trying to sell, they'll be more than likely to purchase from you. The other point I wanted to say is creating posts that are shareable. Most of the time when you see a post and that uh, you share it, it's because it touched you some way and you know someone that would, would be interested in it. That's why we share posts because you just don't share a post that is boring or not touching or not entertaining. When you share or uh, when you create posts that are engaging and someone like your mom or your sister, your aunt, somewhere, although anywhere in the world are willing to share it, that's a potential customer for you. So that's another way of, you know, promoting your business. But my little advice is um, learn a skill, learn whatever skill it is that will help you build, be better at your business. Because when you do make it, you don't want to hire an editor that doesn't see your vision. Yeah, mm -hmm. going back to school, got my MBA, wanted to work in corporate America. Then my husband, who is a physician, started his practice. The first practice broke up, second practice, and then by the third one, we were like, okay, so what's going on here? You have an MBA, you want to work for corporate America. This is a, a business that you need to help run. So that's how we started working together, you know, in our practice. And with God's glory, um, it's, been, it's been a great journey. You know, it's one of the best decisions I made in my life, like just having your own, running your own business and just learning how to open up businesses. Like Sister Lara said, it's not hard at all to set up a business. Go online, Secretary of State. It's the easiest part of setting up a business, as long as you know what to do. And the journey started, that's how I started. And then, for some reason, I landed in clinical psychology because I felt like I could reach more people, could help more people um, globally, not just, you know, in the U.S. And that's, um, went back to school for that. And it's been a, a great ride so far. And securing our future, women's economic empowerment. Empowerment is the ability to do something about your needs, wants, opinions, beliefs, and feelings. While economic empowerment is how people work to create wealth, it is important to note that women in any community are not homogeneous or the same. They are women of different age groups, 
different levels of education and of different social interaction that are sometimes shaped by cultural and religious beliefs. Since we are here in the US, we also have to realize that there is the additional issue of the type of economic activities that are available to men and women. For decades, the work of women has gone unnoticed and often unpaid. That's that one is a very, very big issue. <laughs> Many working women balance family and multiple jobs just so they can meet very basic needs. Minimum wage is so low that it is next to impossible to maintain self-sufficiency and with one job. It is equally important for the young ones to be better prepared for their future for a time when they will have to retire from work while ensuring that there is no decrease in the quality of their lives after retirement. I got fired, and technically I quit. Like, I got laid off for the first time ever. But anyway, when that happened, I thought to my husband, I was like, you know what, I've always wanted to start my practice. Maybe this is God giving me the kick that I needed. So I started like, okay, let me take case. I didn't even know anything about the business side. I didn't know I have an MBA, but I was just like, let me just get into it. I got into it, and then my comp well, I was working for the federal government. Department of Labor then. So they called me back and they were like, hey Grace, look, we got the grant back, we need you because we need someone because you were like our best person. Ever. And then I was like, the paycheck was here. I'm like, and then to my husband, I was like, oh, we need that money. But I was just like, no, you know, like I already felt that conviction that I wanted to start my business, but the bank account was broke. So, but anyway, long story short, I would say technically in a way I kind of quit my job because I rejected that mm -hmm. offer mm -hmm. and you know with the support of my husband too we're like look just drink the Gary and we'll figure it out we'll see how this <laughs> plays out and I can say thankfully years later I look back and that was the best decision because what, it, what they were offering me then which was like all the way here if on my own if I want to go hard on my hustle I can make like 10,000 of it right. that being said whenever the, the beautiful thing about this country is when you own your business it's limitless your your economic you know opportunities and things like that yes. so yeah from what everybody has said. In thinking of what to do, Auntie spoke a lot about um, in, you know, planning for your future, saving, you know, um, investing your funds wisely. I wasn't so much into, I, I wasn't doing business. Well, what my bankers always said to me, let your money work for you. Invest in short-term funds, long-term funds, or long-term investments and things like that. And that really paid off for me. To the point that sometimes I don't know when my investments mature unless they tell me. But that being said, you know, I'm here in America, what next to do? And I said, you know, you have money back from in Nigeria. Change your money and, you know, start using it to do properties. And that is what, you know, I started with. The first one paid off. I smiled all the way to the back. We are doing two projects now. But well, one thing I've noticed is that for most of us Africans, Nigerians, we fear the unknown. Mm -hmm. We despise the days of small beginnings. Yeah. And what I mean by that is that, you know, like I kept asking, I think it was PV that, you know, this lady that comes to do our house cleaning. Mm -hmm. She does three hours, we pay her $150 or so some ridiculous amount of money. There's only two of us in the house. It's not as though she will. Do you understand? I, look, I'm just trying to understand all she does. There are some places in a month you don't go into. The children are not at home, but because we say she has to clean. She comes in. <laughs> so I thought to myself, maybe I should also start a cleaning business. So I went online, I researched everything, I have all the documentation. It doesn't cost me anything. We have a vacuum cleaner. What I need to do no, 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 no. All you need to buy is probably the and I believe even as Nigerians, yeah. it is something we can do. Yeah. These ladies are smiling to the bank yes. every day of the week. So why can't we do it? We think it, it's beneath us. And that is one problem we have as Nigerians. Things are, you know, things are beneath us. We can't clean up after ourselves. Somebody has to do it. We have to be like the Joneses. And I don't think, you know, that is right. So, you know, there are so many things that we can do and, um, you know, 
to make our lives better. And the fact that A is a Ketra, B is a Ketra, C is a Ketra, does not mean we have to compete nope. to the extent that we would kill ourselves. Yes. How many times have you seen a bird fall out of the sky? Yeah, no. so we are good no, in different shot, areas. Some <laughs> people are very good at cooking the jollof rice. Yeah. If it's jollof rice, you know how to cook. Do it. Stick to it and be very good at it. Be the best at it. If it is window cleaning you can do, be the best at it. You know, research whatever it is you are doing. You know, ask question, questions when you are confused. I bet some of us here, even those that are doing businesses, does not know what they earn per project that they do, what their profit is on the project, because they lump everything together. Some people don't even have records. And then you want to expand in future. And the banker says, you know, go and bring your accounts. And then you start digging through, start looking, you know, your bank statements or whatever. Separate business and your personal, you know, records. Mm -hmm. Collect a receipt for everything. Even if you are putting them in a bag, one day, one day when you need it, you will be able okay. to say, okay, these are the receipts for January. These are the ones for December. Itemize whatever it is that you are spending. Check what you make at the end of you know any project know what is coming in pay yourself so that you don't start digging, digging into it that okay um the house needs and before you know it you spent capital you spent your profit accountability is key even for legal especially for those of us that have a um, legal business yes, structure please ensure that you account for your businesses. That is the only way you can know whether you are making profit, whether you need to tweak some expenses, whether you do you need some things, the inventory you have and you know what are, you, you know there are so many things that you know we just think hey let's leave it we'll do it some other day. I don't need the funds now. I don't need this now. But you know on the long run it is something that you would keep. Tell them you you never know when you need it. But hey it's not too late to start new things. It's not too late to learn new things. It's not too late to be a helper to somebody, paying it forward, like somebody said. Don't hold knowledge, don't hold information. Or what you think you know, help everybody out. Be kind to one another. You know, there is nothing as good as giving of yourself, giving of your time. You know, you, you get so much joy from doing it. Let's be one another's keeper. Let's grow our businesses as Nigerians. Let our businesses be, you know, businesses that people would see and say, oh, these ones are people with a, you know, with a difference. So thank you all for coming. And I pray that you know, from today on, our businesses will um, grow, will increase, and um, we'll be sought after. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you all for coming.